Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. What are we going to be doing, talking about all that good stuff tonight? Oh my word, working on cleaning up that big mess. So we're going to be doing a recipe at the end of this video that I found to be absolutely fantastic. Hands down, I'm absolutely thrilled to bits. So that's number one. If you stay to the end of the video, I hope you do, you'll get to see a quick recipe that I did. So it was a, it was a couple of weeks ago and um, I had taken a few days off from work and it was one of those days, do you ever just say, I've had enough? You know, I've had enough with this, I've had enough with that, I'm done, that's it, it's over. And I, it was a rain, it was torrential down. And I grabbed my phone and I just felt like I needed to talk through things in my own mind. I, I'm a verbal processor. I like to do that. Sitting in this very chair, see this wonderful mess behind me? And I grabbed my phone and I turned the notes section on and I started writing a blog post of what was happening. And I, I did the whole thing and I closed it and it was about a week later I looked at it and I said, I want to do a video about this is to tell you and ask you, do you have a big mess in your life right now? What are you currently struggling with? Are you struggling with, you made a mess of your finances. You made a mess of, you know, your house just isn't tidy. You made a mess of, I, I just, you know, I never get this done and I never get to listen. You can make a list a mile long. We all have stuff in life that bogs us down and so many times I was actually having a conversation with somebody about a whole nother subject today. And by the time we got done, she said, I'm so glad I talked to you because I felt like I was the only one. And I think we all feel like that. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's a woman thing. I don't know, but I've had enough of stuff in my life that is weighing me down, not to be able to move forward in life in areas that I want to move forward in. Does that make sense? My my load has lightened in that way where I said, I've got a window of opportunity and I'm opening that window as wide as I can get, opening the curtains, pulling up the blinds and yelling out that window, here I come world, here I come. I am ready to make enough changes in my life to feel like I can live life in an exciting way. I have so many things that I want to do. And I am excited to tell you, I'm going to bring you along. How does that sound? So yes, I'm sitting here behind, behind me is a, is a mess. So we have, you know, like the whole world, everybody is decluttering. We have a mess. That's one of the things, but I will tell you this. I made a list of 12 things that I feel like I've made a mess of in my life. And I figured, you know what? There's 12 months in a year. So if I really honed in on one of those things every month, I just, that's it. This month I'm dedicating toward, and right now what I'm dedicating this month toward is paperwork. I'm from the generation that, you know, years ago you didn't have Pinterest, you didn't have Google, you didn't have all these things where you didn't have things in the cloud and the whole nine yards. Now my parents' generation is you definitely had nothing. You saved every piece of paper for a thousand years. And you know, you have your kids stuff from school and everything else and you never got rid of a thing. I'm not there. There are some things that I know I can get online. I just can't be bothered saving, but there's still some things I'm still wanting a piece of paper where I think my kids' generations are like, I don't want any paper. They want nothing, but I have accumulated paper and things. Now I'm also a homeschool mom. So we've had years of curriculum and things like that it and come up with a system and the whole nine yards. Now that's not to say there's not 30 ish, 31 days in a month that I can still be working on those other systems and those other things that have really bogged me down. But I figured, you know what? Now listen, whether it's the month of April, it's the month of November or the month of June, 
whenever you see this video or you're going to read my blog post, start that month and then work toward a year out. It doesn't have to be starting in January. You start when you can start, when it works best for you. You're just feeling, I can't deal. I'm overwhelmed. I've got messes in my life. I'm not just talking about physical messes. I, like right now, I sitting next to me, <coughs> I have bags of messes. I'm really good at sorting papers and I sort and I put them in bins and I put them in bags and I get them all sorted and I'm all excited. I got all these things. And I won't lie to you, months go by, a year goes by, two years have gone by, and the stuff is still sitting there. It's organized in bins and boxes, but that's not how I wanna live. I wanna have it in a better system. And that mess is paper, but your mess might be emotional. Your mess might be, I don't know what. It could just be a simple thing, but it could be a major thing. You have to decide what are the messes I wanna clean up. Now, you might not have 12 messes. You might only have two messes. You might have six messes. Great, grab those you know, thoughts of whatever that mess is that you have, write it down on a piece of paper and just say today. And my grandmother used to say, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And I remembered when I was a kid that made no sense, but boy, does it make sense today. So today is the first day of the rest of your life. We are starting fresh. We're starting clean. And I have boxes behind me because we have been hauling stuff to Goodwill and other thrift shops along the way. And someone that I know said, hey, we have an area not like I could walk to it near our home that is like a big, it's a part of where I work, but it's a big open area, I guess you'd say. Well, we've done garage sales there where it's like a mini flea market because we can have good 10 families and we get tables and we all park our cars. We bring lunch. We make it a big thing. We play music. We have a ball. We have so much fun. And I think this time we're even going to get a hot dog cart. We're going to have hot dogs there that we want to sell. We'll pack it up in each room and then we'll just haul it all over there, sell what we can and whatever we don't sell, we just take to the thrift shop at that point. So I'm going to try and make a little money. My alternator just went on my car. What a mess. $800 later, I've got to figure out a way to replenish those funds. So we're going to have a garage sale. We're going to sell some things on Facebook. I'm going to get my home so organized and a well-oiled machine that my finances are in better condition. Our menu planning is in better condition that I don't have to run out and buy take out and so on. I'm keeping life simple. I'm not getting complicated. I in no way want complicated. I want super simple black and white. So much so this new recipe that I want to share with you, tortillas. I buy them in the store. I don't know what is in them, but they bother my stomach. Every time I eat like a wrap or anything like that, they bother me. And so I shy away from that. But, you know, when you want to eat tacos or burritos, that's what you use, right? Well, I watched somebody else make a recipe on how to make homemade tortillas. I really never thought about it. So the other night, I made homemade tortillas. Hey, everyone. Okay, we're in the kitchen. Are you ready? So I have been doing some canning. And I'm going to get into this more. But this is some roast pork that I canned. And I just want, one of the things I want to change on my menu planning is simplistic meals. I grew up with, you always had a roast, a potato, a rice, or something like that. You know, your starch, and then you had a couple vegetables, and you had bread, and you had salad, and that was what basically every dinner was. And I think pretty much that's how my husband grew up. And I've done that for years, but you know what? It's just a smaller family now. It's really me and Graham. Our youngest does eat some of the things I make, but not everything. And I just am not into fancy dinners. So I have a little fast food here. I have some canned pork that I did. I have some of my Thrive uh, Market Salsa. You saw my unboxing, my favorite. I have an avocado. 
I have a little sour cream. So I felt like roast pork, what? And I said, ooh, I found a recipe for homemade tortillas, which I've never done. And I don't like store-bought tortillas. I don't like them. I eat them, but I don't like them. So I thought, why not try homemade? So I have baking powder. I have salt. I have butter. I have flour. I have some hot boiling water. I have my silver bullet over here, as I like to call her. I've got my tools that I will be needing. And we're going to go and we're going to make some homemade tortillas and oh and my rolling pin don't forget the rolling pin so if you want to follow along and watch me make this you are more than welcome to i will leave the uh, recipe in the description below it will also be on my blog at some point i will have it on there as well with some pictures of what i'm making so let's get the ball rolling all right, so with that being said, we need these over here, but I need these things here, like so. And I need to make a- So I am so, so sorry I lost the footage of actually me putting all the ingredients into my KitchenAid mixer and making the dough. But it was the three cups of flour, the baking soda, the salt, it was boiling water and melted butter. So when the dough comes out, it is hot or extremely warm. So just be careful. If you do make it, the dough is very, very hot. But then, you know, I just kind of rolled it out a little bit. It's the first time I've ever made tortillas. Am I professional? Do I know what I'm doing? Are they authentic tortillas? No. They're, you know, in my kitchen, they're my family's tortillas. But I can tell you, hands down, it was the best tortilla I've ever eaten. It did not bother my stomach like the store bought ones do. They always give my stomach cramps. I don't know why. These were great. We all had them. We had them for breakfast the next day with some scrambled eggs and <clears throat> cheese and fresh tomatoes with them. And then at night, my son said, do you have any of that meat left? And can you make me another tortilla uh, burrito? So he loved them. So you just roll them out as thin as you want. I Again, first time making it. I don't know how to tell you how thin to make them, but you can see in the video, it was fairly thin. I was thinking I should make them thinner, and my husband said, no, they were perfect. So I rolled them out. I put them in the frying pan until they got bubbles on the top, flipped them over. Some were a little lighter, some were a little darker, but they all came out fantastic. So what I did is I grabbed a jar that I canned of roast pork with a little garlic powder and salt and pepper, and I canned it myself. I cut the pork up and used my Nesco Smart Canner, and I dumped that in the frying pan after I made the tortillas. I added a Thrive Market package of uh, fajita seasoning, and look at that stack right there. Oh, so good. And I added that, I just boiled that up, and then we added some fresh avocado, and I added some salsa from Thrive Market, my favorite salsa, and a little sour cream. I made mine and my son's more like a burrito style, and then my husband wanted it more taco style. So you can enjoy the pictures here of some of the, you know, shots of me making it and rolling it out, and wait till the end, and then you're going to see how delicious they look. Listen, if I could have invited you over for dinner, I would have. I am not a fan of my own cooking. I don't know if you're like that. You know, I'm always critical. I could have done it better. I could have done it this way or that way. My husband and my son could not say enough and raved and raved about how good the dinner is. Here's the packet from Thrive Market of the fajita seasoning. I love, I had an avocado. It was ready to be used. And here you go. Here's the deliciousness of our dinner last night. Hope you enjoyed the video.